Hey, my name is Jake Nicholson, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to give you the buy to let basics. What you need to know about buy to let investing. And if you're interested in a little bit more about how this works, we've got a Black Friday offer, which I'll put in the description below. So let's talk about buy to let. Well, I've been a property investor myself for around 25 years now. I started investing in 1999 and I always wanted to have my own property. Back then, I was working as a Burger King manager and I was working in one of these Burger Kings next to a little chef and I bought my first studio flat and I bought it for £45,000 in Dorking in Surrey back in 1999. In fact, if you want to see that property, you can go back to the older videos on this channel when I turned that studio flat into a one bedroom property back then. So that property was somewhere that I lived for a period of time. And as it went up in value, I created equity in the property. So we bought the property, purchase price 45, oh, 45,000 pounds. Now, today that property is worth £250,000, but it wasn't always like that. So as the value went up, then I was able to release equity, which I did initially one time to get a new kitchen, because I wanted to get a new kitchen, a new bathroom. So I took out, when I did a remortgage, took out a little bit of equity, two or three grand back then, <coughs> and I did the work myself with friends, um, and then we made the property worth more. Then a few years later, I started learning about investing. I was working as a recruitment consultant at that stage and a few people were making really good money and they were investing in all sorts of things, stocks and shares and property. Now I tried stocks and shares and it didn't really work out for me. Uh, I always bought stuff that really didn't do well. Cable and wireless, which went bankrupt. I think it became Virgin Media. Uh, that, that it is today. That didn't do too well. I bought Weatherspoon shares that just stayed the same forever. But some people were making good money in property. I already had a property and I thought, hmm, I'd like to do a bit more on that. Now, at that time, this property was now worth £100,000. So it had gone up in value. This was around about eight years later. So I released some equity from that property. I did a remortgage and I released some equity and then I went shopping in Hastings. A few people that I worked with said, you should go and check out Hastings. There's some cheap properties down there. So I did. And I bought a, a one bedroom flat there that was quite large. Um, and I think I paid £75,000. So I bought this £75,000 uh, flat. And now I've got two properties, one worth 100, one worth £75,000. Now that went up in value and my other property went up in value. So as they go up in value, then you can refinance and pull out equity. So I did that. And then we bought a property, a house this time, a three bedroom house. I bought for £110,000 in Hastings as well. So these, now I had three properties that were going up in value. And every few years, I would refinance those properties and then I would take the equity out and buy more. So that's how you invest in property. But there's a little bit more to that. So let's just explain it with a deal that I've done recently for my daughter, Georgia, which is why I launched this channel. I've got two girls, Georgia, who's 23, Emily, who is three. Uh, and that's why I started this channel, because I wanted to keep myself accountable, keep myself active in property um, and make sure I was always keeping up on what was happening in the market. So Georgia, I bought her a, uh, a, f a house in Doncaster. So we bought a property in Doncaster for £60,000. You can see this property on this channel as well. I recorded the videos when we were doing that. So we then needed to refurbish the property. We bought this at auction. Um, and so we bought it auction for £60,000 with all the fees and uh, the tax and the refurbishment came to around £15,000. So this we bought cash. This was money that we had. And we got that £75,000 by releasing 
equity from some of my dorking properties. That's how we got the money. I didn't save that money. Um, once you've got the initial pot of money, it just gets easier to release equity. So we're in this deal now for £75,000. And a few months after we did the work, we got it revalued that property. And this one just seems to work quite well. Um, it was revalued at £100,000. Now, on a buy-to-let property investment, they will lend you 75% of the value of the property. And this worked out quite well for us. So it was £75,000 they would lend to us. So we got all of our money back in this scenario. And then we were able to go shopping again. So we had no money left in that deal in Doncaster. And then we went shopping again and we bought a flat in Dorking in Surrey, which I've also documented on this channel. So you can see the purchase. A very light refurbishment was on that one. We bought it for 235, just got valued actually today for 250. So it's gone up a little bit in two years. As you'll know, if you watch this channel, the market has been fairly flat for two years, but we did a little bit of improvement. That's why we got about a 15 grand increase in that property. So we bought a second property and that's called uh, a process called buy, refurbish, refinance, rent. So what we did here, we bought a property for 60,000 pounds at auction. <coughs> we refurbished it. <coughs> All our legal costs and everything involved in that took it to 15,000 pounds. We refinanced that, as in we got a new mortgage on the property and they said it's worth 100 we'll lend you 75 now we didn't let's just be totally transparent here we didn't get every penny back the reason for that is we had to pay a broker 500 quid and we had to pay a solicitor a thousand pounds and there might have been a few other charges in that as well but we got most of our money back here and then we rent this property in Doncaster now 750 a month we get on that property and the mortgage on that is around 280 right so that's a pretty good deal you get all of your money out and then you go shopping again and that's one uh, strategy it's called buy refurbish refinance rent and we teach you that in the fundamentals of property investing so there's a link where you can get this on a black friday offer in the description it's the cheapest it's ever been it's 25 pounds just for this week so make sure you grab that so this now gives us kind of passive income kind of i say kind of so i don't manage this property i get an estate agent to run it for me <clears throat> but i do have to do a few things every year so the estate agent <clears throat> will call me if there's any maintenance uh which doesn't happen too often because we just refurbed it when we bought it but sometimes something might go wrong so they will call us on that so we'll have to deal with that and we've obviously got to deal with accounts each year as well so the accountant will have to get uh, everything ready and make sure that's ready for the accountant. So it's mostly passive, hands-off uh, investment. So what other things do we teach you in the fundamentals? We talk about things like how to find these types of property. This one was at auction. But how do you get off-market deals? How do you get the numbers right? That's very, very important as well. Should you buy a property in a recession? That's very at at the moment because potentially <clears throat> the UK is going to go into recession in 2025. The good news is that properties, there are deals around at the moment. There are landlords that want to leave the market. <clears throat> I'll tell you in the fundamentals of property investing that you should invest in a company now uh, because landlords that own it in their personal name, this is invested in a property company called Georgia Lawton Properties. That means that uh, it's much more tax efficient. We'll teach you that in the fundamentals as well. But there are landlords that own it in their personal name that have huge tax bills because it's not very tax efficient to own it in your personal name. We teach you that it, those landlords are desperate to get rid of deals at the moment. So that could uh, work very, very well. Um, we'll help you avoid taxes uh, and how to improve that. Limited Company helps that uh, in a, a lot of ways. Um, we'll talk about how to buy a deal, you've got to take the emotion out of it. How to buy auction, how to buy modern auctions, you've probably seen those as well. Um, <clears throat> what agents you use, should you buy a cash? Um, should you buy properties in bad condition? Yes, that's a good way to do that. What we want to teach you is how to 
add value to a property. See, I bought this property for 60 grand and within six months, it was nearly doubled in value just because I did the refurbishment and I didn't overspend on it. That's very important that you don't overspend. The actual refurbishment was probably around 12 and that meant that really we had the uplift in the value. That's very, very important. We'll talk about solicitors. We'll talk about surveyors. All the stuff that you knew, need to know. EPCs, roof, la uh, mines, ransom strips, Japanese knotweed. There's tons of stuff. How to get property below market value. I'll teach you all of that. I'll also teach you how you can sell deals if you can't afford to buy it. You can sell a deal. That's included in this. And also a strategy where you can buy a property for a pound. Let me tell you how that one works quickly. So let's just say that you have a landlord that you found and they want to sell the property. They're desperate to get rid of it because the mortgage rate's too expensive for them. They're not getting enough rent. The tax is too much for them. But they need to sell it for £100,000 because that's what the debt is on the property. But right now, maybe the market's a little slow. So in order to get that sold quickly, they'd need to sell it for 90. They can't sell it for 90. It's not going to work for them. So you agree that you'll buy that property for them for £100,000. You get a contract in place called a lease option. That gives you the option to buy that property in the next whatever period you pick, but normally around seven years. So during that seven years, that property is likely to go up in value. And as it goes up in value, seven years later, it might be worth 120,000 or 140,000. You've agreed to buy it already for a hundred thousand pounds. So you get that property at a big discount when you complete. Now, while that's happening, you will have received the rent for the property. The landlord won't have anything to do with it anymore. You'll be paying the mortgage, you'll receive the rent, and if there's any maintenance issues, that's down to you. And this is a great way to get properties without deposits. Let the property increase in value. And in this market, these are the types of deals that you want to look for. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about HMOs as well in here as well. And that's where you have a house of multiple occupancy. Right now, rents are going crazy. So people need cheaper properties. And a lot of people are renting out on a room by room basis, like student accommodation, or maybe someone's got divorced and they need a short term rental, but they don't afford, can't afford an Airbnb. And you can provide high quality HIs. I'm not talking about being a slum landlord here, I'm talking about high quality so you get good caliber people. And you could get a property where you could rent the rooms out. Let's just give you some easy numbers. Let's just say the uh, you could get a thousand pounds if you rented out a three bedroom house. A thousand pounds. Now that property had three bedrooms but two reception rooms, a dining room and a living room. You could convert a dining room and a living room. I'll tell you in the fundamentals of property investing how to do that. It's quite simple. Put a bed in the room and make it a bedroom. You could convert that into a five bedroom property then. Rent the rooms out for £500 and instead of getting £1,000 a month, you would get £2,500 per month. Now you would then, in that scenario, need to pay the bills because it would be including bills. But in that scenario, you'd make 1500 quid extra and out of 1500 quid, your gas and electric is not going to be that much. Uh, you've got council tax, TV license and a few other things to pay. Or some people are even charging £600. These are Northern HMO prices. Down south, Leatherhead Council, <coughs> which I'm speaking to at the moment, they will pay £950 per room per month to an HMO. So that's something to look for as well. Um, we're also going to talk about getting paid, how to make sure that you get paid your rent on time. That's very, very important. And what are the best types of investment? Should you get flats or houses? There's tons of things in the fundamentals of property investing, and it's 25 quid once, just once. You don't have to pay again and again and again, and you're not paying thousands of pounds and sitting in a hotel getting pitched at like everybody else. So do check that out this weekend. It's the cheapest it will ever be. Price will be going back up next week. 
And do check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.